अन अकेडमी लेट्स क्रैक इट now next question is coming in front of you right this is a question that has been asked in this time i and i said right i and i said so calculate the question calculate here and answer 45 second time in front of you okay how to calculate this we we'll learn now this question it's a little difficult okay uh it's a little difficult obviously for every student but don't think that it's difficult means it's not it will not be asked in the uh, fmg examination nowadays fmg examination pattern has also changed i have seen there are some question which are very difficult even for the neat entrance that type of question has also been given for the fmg entrance examination so you have to be prepared okay now look at what is this detonizing frequency first and then we will calculate okay formula is very simple i will tell you okay but before that what is this detonizing frequency okay one upon contraction period okay so first of all you understand that if you give a stimulus to a muscle suppose this is on muscle okay this is on muscle right and if i stimulate this muscles i am stimulating this muscle this is the neuron which is attached to the muscle if i stimulate then the muscle is going to contract simple buffer okay that if you stimulate it is going to contract and which muscle they are given here they have given simple muscle twitch from frog gastrocnemian muscle whatever maybe gastrocnemius maybe sartorius maybe any muscle muscle ko stimulation doge to it will contract because it is an excitable tissue now if i plot this contraction okay and relaxation then this x axis is the time and y axis is the contraction so i'll get a curve like this i'll get a curve like this right so this curve what is this the first part is the contraction of the muscle contraction of the muscle means what is happening to the muscle muscle is generating tension so that way the tension is rising within the muscle tension in force force or tension is rising within the muscle so this is the contraction of the muscle and then after the contraction tension is decreasing within the muscle so what is this this is obviously a relaxation this is obviously a relaxation of the muscle so this is the contraction and this is the relaxation of the muscle now i have given the stimulation to the muscle at this point okay at this point sorry i have given the stimulation at this point so this arrow mark this is the point of stimulation okay so where i have given stimulation i have given stimulation on this neuron okay and then after giving stimulation i can find out that the contraction is starting from this point not just after stimulation after giving stimulation it is taking some time and then the muscle contraction is starting this time period yes very good dr ravi this time period is known as the latent period lp latent period why there is latent period because whenever you are giving stimulation here first the neuron will be activated then neuron ke through action potential aayega then action potential will cross the neuromuscular junction then after crossing the neuromuscular junction inside the muscle it will release the calcium and then calcium will bind to troponin and then the contraction will occur so many steps so many steps but all these steps are very fast because of which it takes only latent period normally 10 millisecond okay then after the latent period if i calculate the time duration from the onset of contraction up to the peak of contraction or up to the end of contraction so this period if i calculate this period is known as the contraction period of the muscle generally contraction period of this gastrocnemius muscle is 40 millisecond this is a normal value i am talking about and then 
from this point of end of contraction if i calculate the time period up to the end of full relaxation this is obviously a relaxation period or rp rp is generally 50 millisecond a little more than that of the contraction period so if i add up all of this time duration then this is nothing but 100 millisecond so the simple muscle twitch what is twitch twitch means only single contraction is known as the twitch muscle twitch muscle contraction ek bar contraction why uska hum log bolte hai simple muscle twitch so smt is equal to 100 millisecond yes these are the trans standard value for gastrocnemius muscles why gastrocnemius because this is the muscle we, which we generally prefer for our experiment frog gastrocnemius muscle because it's a big muscle right it is easy to separate that's why we use this gastrocnemius muscle for our experiment and what is the standard value of this simple muscle twitch 100 millisecond is the total duration right now rather than giving a single stimulation note down here here i am giving only one stimulation if i give multiple stimulation what is going to happen okay so i am writing this is one simple muscle twitch now whenever the muscle is fully relaxed i have given one stimulation here again i am giving another stimulation here what will happen the immediately the second contraction will start but the height of the second contraction the height of the second contraction is more than that of the previous contraction exactly this is known as beneficial effect this is known as the beneficial effect also remember this why i am saying whenever you give whenever you give stimulation to a muscle there will be a release of calcium then this calcium will be mopped up will return back to the sarcoplasmic reticulum by sarcopum by sarcopum i hope all of you know this thing that if this is the sarcopum if this is the sarcopum right so calcium pehle isse bahar aata hai this calcium is going to cause its contraction and when the contraction is over the calcium is again going back to the sarcopum with the help of a transporter which is known as the sarcopum so calcium bahar aa raha hai with which channel with rhinodin receptor channel i hope all of you know and then calcium is going back by sarcopum so ejo calcium bahar aa raha hai and then when it is going back it takes some times it takes some times within this time if you give another stimulation okay already one stimulation was here okay calcium is already there in the cytoplasm and you have given another stimulation here before the whole calcium return to the sarcoplasm reticulum so what will happen to the amount of calcium during the next contraction will be high because of which the height of contraction will also be higher this phenomena is known as the beneficial effect so beneficial effect is due to which molecule calcium molecule got it everybody tell me up to this level you got it or not you got it or not okay okay now so these are the two stimulations so this is one stimulation and this is the second stimulation now i'm giving multiple stimulation so i'm giving one stimulation full relax one i have given another stimulation so again second contraction again full relax one I, again i have given another one then again the third then fourth this will go on like this this will go on like this okay so this scenario if i give multiple stimulation if i go on giving this kind of multiple stimulation then muscle is not relaxing fully but gradually the height of contraction is gradually rising this phenomena this phenomena what is this okay so you can find out that there is there is step by step increment of height and this phenomena is known as the incomplete tetanus generation incomplete tetanus generation incomplete cube kyunki na ye dono contraction ke beech mein if there is a relaxation period then that will be known as incomplete tetanus means you know what is tetanus tetanus means persistent contractile state persistent contractile state right so if there is relaxation in between then tetanus is not complete so what i have to do if i give a stimulus if i give a stimulus and in between two stimulus suppose the interval was 50 millisecond okay 
interval was 50 millisecond now what you think if i want to produce a complete tetanus i have to give more frequent stimulation or less frequent stimulation more frequent or less frequent means iske beech mein aur ek stimulation de denge ki iske baad mein aur ek stimulation denge yahan pe denge ki yahan pe denge more frequent or less frequent stimulation what do you think more frequent stimulation if you give more frequent stimulation then what will happen look at so first contraction first contraction is going on then is jagah pe na the muscle was about to relax but before relaxation i have given another stimulation here so even before the starting of relaxation another contraction will start like this and again whenever it is going to relax as if it is going to relax i have given another stimulation before this so if i give another stimulation here the third contraction will start from here then again i have given another stimulation here so what will happen another contraction will start from here so now i can find out that there is a continuous persistent contraction without any without any without any relaxation in between without any relaxation in between then this is known as the complete tetanus formation this is known as a complete tetanus formation now looking at this diagram tell me if i want to produce complete tetanus then every stimulus should fall within which period contraction period or relaxation period of the muscle every stimulus look at this stimulus and all of these stimulus they are falling within which period of the muscle contraction contraction period ke andar hogana chahiye ki relaxation period mein hona chahiye yes if i give every stimulus if i give stimulus like this suppose the question is tilted question is twisted like this that you are giving multiple stimulus and all of these multiple stimulus are falling are falling within relaxation period within early part of relaxation early part of relaxation period of the muscle rp of the muscle then how the graph will look like the graph will look like this what is this this is completeness or incompleteness tell me yes so this will be incomplete tetanus and if i give multiple stimulus if i give multiple stimulus and all of this multiple stimulus are falling within within contraction period of the muscle then i will give a curve like this have a curve like this and this is known as the complete tetanus generation getting my point so this is the difference between complete tetanus and incomplete tetanus so now if i want to if i want to okay generate complete tetanus within this simple muscle twitch then first of all i have to calculate what is the duration of this contraction period so contraction period in this is 40 millisecond so i will make sure i will make sure that each and every stimulus will fall within this zone only okay that means if i take a formula like this that tetanizing frequency tetanizing frequency is equal to one second upon your contraction period duration one second means thousand millisecond upon your contraction period that is a 40 millisecond so what is this this is nothing but 25 hertz means if you give a if you give a clonus i'm coming if you give a frequency of stimulus such like that that the frequency of stimulus is 25 hertz 25 hertz right then the distance between two stimulus is maximum 40 millisecond that means i have already made sure that if the first stimulus is falling here second stimulus is going to fall here if the second stimulus is falling here then the second contraction will merge with the first one and it will form a tetanus formation so that way the formula for calculating this minimum tetanizing frequency is one upon contraction period duration what is one one means one second one second means thousand millisecond upon this so answer is 20 5 hertz here if you give frequency more than this well and good is se jada hoga to 25 or more so there is no problem because if you give more frequency then the second stimulus will fall here rather than this part then also the complete tetanus will form but if you give frequency lower than this then one stimulus will fall here another stimulus may fall here 
then if the second stimulus is falling here then you are not going to get the completeness you are going to get the incompleteness right so that way this is known as the okay now this clonus is nothing but the incompleteness only but in between i have not discussed one thing see if you are getting a curve like this if you are getting a curve like this okay tell me what is the difference between these two curve this is one curve and this is another curve what is the difference between these two curve what is the difference between these two curve what you are finding out exactly in the first curve relaxation is complete or not in the first curve relaxation is complete or not yes relaxation is complete when the relaxation is complete and then gradually you are giving stimulation then this step by step increment of height is known as staircase phenomena this is known as the staircase phenomena or trepi phenomena okay t r e p p e this is staircase or trepi but if this relaxation in between this relaxation is incomplete if this relaxation is incomplete okay then this is known as the incomplete tetanus incomplete tetanus incomplete tetanus is also known as the clonus incomplete tetanus is also known as the clonus and if there is no relaxation if there is no relaxation in between then this is known as the complete tetanus this is known as the complete tetanus now you tell me if i have given a question like this that this is option a this is option b this is option c highest frequency is required for which one highest frequency is required for which one a b or c excellent my dear excellent then second one maximum to minimum sajao highest frequency then second yes excellent excellent very good so maximum or highest frequency is required for this and then this is the second highest frequency is required and this is the third highest frequency excellent excellent very good i'm so happy okay this topic is very difficult you have understood at the first place means very good you are well prepared okay thank you so much so i hope now this is clear that why the answer is like this okay and this other question has been asked in this ems uh, i i i set examination right okay all of you got it okay na give me a thumbs up very good very good okay